welcome back to a new video lecture and in this lecture we discuss a problem related with Kanye's method before watching this lecture video all of you please watch the previous lecture related with the Kanye's method equation and while analyzing a continuous beam using Kanye's method we are following certain steps like first one you have to calculate the fixed and moment value and in the second step you have to calculate the rotation factor and you know that it will be minus 1 by 2 multiplied by k by sigma k and we already know that this k by sigma k is going to be distribution factor then the third step you there is an can analysis or iteration process it is going to happen okay while doing problem you will get more clarity regarding the steps which we are following for this iteration and we already derived an equation related with this iteration that is mij equals r ij multiplied by sigma m of ij plus mji minus m dash ij actually what do you mean by this terms so we need to find out the rotation of this near end if you want to calculate the rotation of near end then there is a some certain steps are following and with this equation we are calculating this iteration process and the last step the final moment and there is also an equation is there with the help of that equation we can work out the final moment that is mij equals m of ij plus 2 mij plus mji minus m dash i ij okay so this i represents near end and j represents the far end okay while doing problem you will get more clarity regarding this terms as well okay so before going to this uh, problem please note down a statement regarding this rotation factor for the fixed end it is going to be zero okay so please note down that value also rotation factor for fixed end it is going to be zero so analyze the continuous beam using canis method and here you can note down that a continuous beam is given and the supports is both the sides is a and d are fixed and b and c are roller support then a 20 kN is acting at the center then a udl is acting then the 30 kN is also acting over the span bc then a 40 kN is acting then here you can check out that this 6 meter is the bc span actually okay so here you can note down that this much meter which is 4 meter actually then if you our first step is to calculate the fixed and moment values is, that is minus wl by 8 the load is acting at the center point and the case second case this bc portion you have to consider the value as first of all you have to calculate the udl is only acting so minus wl square by 12 for the udl then again you have to consider this 30 is acting that is w a b square by l square here a represents 4 and b represents 2 and l represents 6 so with the help of this equation you can calculate this m of bc and m of cb and then coming to the m of cd value you can easily calculate this minus wl by 8 okay so moving on to the next step our next step is to calculate the rotation factor we already know that if the far end is fixed and hinged which formulas we are using in this case two joints are there that is joint b and joint c if you are considering joint b the far end a it is going to be fixed and the c is also going to be fixed so the general equation will be 4 ei by l so if you apply those values you will get this values and the sigma k if you add up this value 7 by 3 ei and the rotation factor also you can calculate from this and if you are taking joint c the value it is again going to be fixed so again the this equation for ei by l you can use so you will add up this sigma k and after that this minus 1 by 2 is very important while calculating this rotation factor this you have to multiply with this minus 1 by 2 and you will get these values then after this step the very important step that is going to be the iteration is going to happen 
So there we are following that formula which already mentioned in our first class. So while, while doing this iteration very easily you can approach or calculate the values as by drawing this tab, this boxes. So each joints is whether this in this case the joint B and joint C you have to draw this boxes. So there is a particular order for drawing this box. So here you can check out at the joint A you can men mention the fixed end moment and here the joint B the fixed end moment values so you can mention. Likewise you can mention and inside this joint B the inside box you have to add up this FEM1 and FEM2 both the values both the nearby values FEM1 plus FEM2 and here you can note down RF1 and RF2. Then, then coming to our, uh, our problem, you can observe that here the fixed end value is going to be minus 10 and here it is plus 10. Then it is, you can directly mark all the fixed end moment values is minus 58.33. Then at the join C, you can observe that 71.67 and minus 20 and plus 20. These all values is we have calculated in our first step. Okay. So you can directly mark these values. Is you have to follow this procedure. Okay, and in the inside box, you can fill up with this 10 minus 58.33. Okay, while observing, you can calculate. If you are drawing this uh, tabular, this boxes, uh, then you can directly calculate each values. Our final intention is to calculate these values. Okay, these are the iteration process happening. Different cycles are provided happening. So here you have to mark the rotation factor values is correspondingly and here also you can mark the rotation factor which we have calculated in the second step okay so after that we will move on to the procedure that here you can check this canis analysis like if you are taking the joint b already i mentioned in the first slide that is mij it is going to be rij multiplied by summation of moment at or ij plus summation of moment summation of uh, moment at the far end minus this fixed value uh, displacement values is mij so actually what do you mean by this far end and this uh, near end actually what is represents if you are taking a joint b all the points is this to the this uh, moments to this point B it will be near that is I you can represent by I and all the moments is far from this point like this A in this case and this C is also in this case that is called the far end or far end contributions okay so here you can observe that RBA multiplied by summation of fixed end moments at the nearby end plus all the foreign moment summation that is a and c then minus with the displacement value also okay so if you are going to this procedure that is minus 0.214 that is in the first case multiplied by 10 minus 58.33 and in this case the fixed end or value it is a rotation factor is going to be zero and in the case of MCB, the value or rotation contribution is unknown. In the, this is your first step. This is your initial step. So MCB value, foreign value it is going to be, uh, there is no value since we are calculating, this is our first cycle. Okay. And uh, now we please move on to our question. Once again, these boxes, here you can observe that. If you are calculating this, uh, MBA then you can observe that MBA if you are observing that is rotation factor for this case that is minus point minus point 0.214 okay minus point 0.214 multiplied by this summation of moments that is minus 48.33 then you have to take the rotation factor actually for this case it is going to be zero okay this is your first cycle then very carefully okay this value it is going to be zero then actually this 
MCB value it is there is no value. So in the initial case there is no value. So you can take zero. Okay, that's why in that particular equation we are taking this value and you will get this 10.3 for us your final value. Okay. So then we will move on to the next step that is MBC if you are calculating the similar procedure you are following here also. If you are following this MBC, you can observe that RBC multiplied by rotation factor BC multiplied by summation of moment at the joint B plus MAB then MCB rotation contribution. Only change in this value only. Okay. This rotation contribution value is only different. So you will get 13.82. You can observe this value in this case that is 13.82. Okay. So here only we are following this equation mij equal to rij multi rotation contribution multiplied by summation of moment summation of moment at that particular joint plus summation of moment of parent okay while doing the second cycle you will get more clarity regarding the this parent values okay and in this case there is no displacement values or so displacement settlements are happening okay so now we will move on to the joint C. If you are considering joint C, you can observe that same procedure or same equations RCB, uh, the rotation factor it is going to be minus 0.8286 multiplied by those values is at the joint. The inside box value it is going to be 51.67. You got while analyzing 71.67 minus 20. Then sum of moments of parents. So in this case, this parent for this joint C, you can observe from this diagram that the parent value it is going to be this BC that is 13.82 you have to take. And for CD, actually there is no value since it is going to be fixed and the zero value you have to take. Okay, this moment contribution values are actually we are determining right now. Moment contribution values. Is. Okay. And these values is will decide our final moment value also okay so if you are taking joint c we already determined this minus 18.73 value then coming to mcd if you are analyzing mcd rcd multiplied by sum of mom fixed end moments at c plus sum of moments of parents okay the same procedure only difference is this uh, rotation factor value so if you add up those values you will get minus 14.01 kilonewton meter so if you observe uh, the first cycle is completed that is ba 10.34 and bc it is going to be 13.82 and for cb it is going to be minus 18.73 and cd it is going to be minus 14.01 this same procedure is going to repeat in every cycle okay until this values is the final values are coming to be very closer you can stop the stop the iteration process okay if you observe here you can observe that here it is 14.67 19.62 here also approximately equal in both the cases here also and let's explain the second condition also or second cycle that is joint b again you have to consider and the same equation you are going to apply here also that is MBA, then rotation factor, sum of moments, fixed end moments. The only variation it is going to be sum of moments of parent. Okay, parent contribution or parent moments, the fixed end it is going to be zero. Then here you have to take this MCB value. Okay, so whatever value you are get, taking, that is MCB foreign value. The previous value you have calculated that is minus 18.73. You have to take. Okay. So if you apply those values, you will get 14.35 kilonewton meter. And coming to MBC, if you analyze the same procedure, RBC, that is minus 0.286 multiplied by uh, sum of moments at B, then MAB, the same result, only rotation factor is different in this case also. You will get 19.18 kilonewton meter. If you are taking joint C, same procedure, that is rotation contribution multiplied by sum of fixed end moments of c and the mbc you can observe from the previous case mbc value what about the mbc value mbc value you already calculated the value as 19.18 so you can apply that value in this case okay 19.18 value in this case 
ഓക്കെ സോ നയൻറ്റീൻ പോയിന്റ് വണ്ണിൽ സോ ഇത് എം സി ഡി വാല്യൂ ഓൾസോ ദ സെയിം പ്രൊസീജിയർ ഓൺലി ഡിഫറൻസ് ഈസ് റൊട്ടേഷൻ കോൺട്രിബ്യൂഷൻ വാല്യൂ ആൻഡ് ഫോർ ദ ഫർദർ സൈക്കിൾ ഓൾസോ ദ സെയിം പ്രൊസീജിയേഴ്സ് ആർ റിപ്പീറ്റിംഗ് ഓക്കെ ആൻഡ് യു യു ക്യാൻ അപ്ലൈ ദിസ് റിപ്പീറ്റേഷൻ അൺടിൽ ദോസ് വാല്യൂസസ് ആർ അപ്രോക്സിമേറ്റ്ലി ഈക്വൽ ഓക്കെ ദ സെയിം പ്രൊസീജിയേഴ്സ് ആർ ആർ റിപ്പീറ്റഡ് ഹിയർ ഓൾസോ ഐ എം നോട്ട് ഗോയിങ് ടു എക്സ്പ്ലെയിൻ അഗെയിൻ ദോസ് സ്റ്റെപ്സ് ദ സെയിം പ്രൊസീജിയേഴ്സ് ആർ റിപ്പീറ്റിംഗ് okay so please follow those steps by yourself and uh, here the third cycle will be completed after that move on to the fourth cycle fourth cycle also you can observe the same pattern there is no much change and uh, you will get for the joint b and joint c you will obtain some values okay and uh, you can finalize your values and then coming to our table once again okay here you will obtain those final values after after those four cycles you will obtain this values that is 14.17 19.6 why minus 20.4 minus 15.26 these values are your final values which we are using to calculate the final moment value okay this last values 14.71 19.6 5 Minus twenty point four and a minus fifteen point two six. Okay. Then, with the help of that values, we will calculate our last final moments. We can draw this tabular column. Okay. That is joints A, then B, then C. What our members are connected with the joints. Okay. All the procedures are repeating same for the. uh moment distribution method itself same procedure then fix and moment values is after that you have to put the near end contribution okay near end contribution you can uh, we know that the final moment equation it is going to be m i j it is going to be m of i j plus fix and moment values plus 2 multiplied by this near end contribution plus far end contribution minus m dash ij in this case there is no displacement so you can cut down that then the fixed end moment values that you already know this minus 10 10 likewise then this 2m ij value what do you mean by that 2mj means 2 is multiplied with the near end contribution values okay so if you substitute those values the near end contributions you can observe that 2 multiplied by in each cases if you take 2 multiplied by 14.7 2 multiplied by this these all values is after four iterations or four cycles what you what value you observed that is 14.7 19.65 then minus 20.4 minus 15.26 and again last value is going to be zero and after that this far end value you have to calculate the far end contribution we know that in the case of fixed end values as if you are applying capital m it will transfer only m by 2 value only isn't it we already studied this theory and here also the half the value will be transferred here okay likewise ba will be transferred to ab and ab will be transferred to here zero and here also bc to be transferred to cb and cb to be bc and cd to be transferred to dc and dc to cd likewise after that you can directly add all those values is minus 10 plus 14.7 then 10 then this value you can add up this finally you will get 4.7 39.4 minus 39.4 50.52 minus 50.52 and 4.74 and if you observe at a joint these values are same if you check this joints is b and c both the values is or uh, only sign is different numerical is same 39.4 and minus 39.4 and here it is going to be 50.52 and minus 50.52 so actually this is the procedure for finding out the finding out the uh, moments is using this canis method for a continuous beam and after you can draw this bending moment diagram as usual using this uh, values and 
after calculating the reactions you can cal draw this shear force diagram also okay uh, this is the procedure for finding out uh, analysis analysis of a continuous beam using canis method okay so i hope the section is uh, very clear to you and with this we wind up today's section thank you Thank you.